Bill made tonight over school security. A package of bills is being discussed by a bipartisan school safety task force at the state capitol. Republicans tonight accusing Democrats of dragging their feet. Our state capitol correspondent Zachariah Wheaton takes a look at what's being considered and what's holding up the legislation from being voted on. That 13 bill package from the school safety task force includes things like creating a school safety and mental health commission. It also uh, improves and expands the OK to say threat reporting system and it also improves responses in the event of an emergency. Well, I'm grateful for those changes. I'm also angry that they didn't happen sooner. So today I stand here again asking our lawmakers to continue to take action and enact meaningful change. Following the shootings at Oxford in 2021 and Michigan State in 2023, state lawmakers passed four new gun laws. Students from Michigan State University told lawmakers at a rally last month that more work still needs to be done. Republicans say progress is being held up by the House Education Committee. But we know these safety measures will help keep our kids safe in school. There is no reason why they should be sitting there in the Education Committee and not act upon. Education Committee Chair Matt Colzar says he is waiting for the bills to get proper stakeholder feedback before holding a hearing. These bills were not ready when they were introduced. They've gone through extensive changes that have been agreed on by both the Republican and the Democrat. And to suggest that we have shuffled our feet on it is quite frankly inaccurate and it's uh, dishonest to Michigan residents. Representative Colzar highlighted the work that has been done, pointing out the governor's budget that included $200 million in school safety and school mental health grants. And I'm giving them the opportunity to complete their work because to rush through a school safety bill could potentially be playing games with children's lives, and we don't want to do that. The chair of the Education Committee did say the bills are close, as he expects to have a hearing discussing those bills soon, but does not have a date scheduled yet. As for now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Zach Rye Wheaton, News 10.